Today's video is all about how to transform thrift store finds into cozy winter decor that not only looks beautiful, but also keeps your home warm during chilly days and nights. The best part, it's all affordable, proving that you don't need to spend a fortune to create a snug home. I'm particularly thrilled because I am doing a collaboration today with Teresa from Our Green Acres. Her channel is filled with fantastic home decor ideas and DIY projects that I'm sure you're gonna love. After you've enjoyed this video, be sure to hop over to Teresa's channel and see wonderful winter decor she's crafted for her home. It's a double dose of inspiration to make your space cozy without breaking the bank. I'll put the link to that video down below in the description. We've got lots of work. Let's get started. There's nothing better on a cold winter's night to have a mug of hot chocolate. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna transform these thrift store mugs that I got for 99 cents with my Cricut and a little bit of permanent vinyl. There are always so many mugs at the thrift store that it can get a little bit overwhelming, but I always look for those old vintage neutral color mugs and was happy to find these mugs. I think they're probably from the 70s. I'm cutting out the word hot chocolate. This graphic's available in my Etsy store. If you wanna grab it, I'll put the link down below in the description and I'm using permanent vinyl. So after I apply this to my mug, I'll be able to put it in the dishwasher and it's gonna hold up. I've cut out two of these so I can apply them to the two mugs and then we'll have a set for our hot chocolate. Applying the transfer tape so then we can put it on the mug and you want to use the grid on the transfer tape so you can make sure that you have it nice and straight when you're applying it. Before we do that though, we have to make sure that we have a really clean area for the vinyl. So I like using rubbing alcohol and I clean the whole mug so there's no fingerprints or little greasy spots that's gonna prevent the vinyl from adhering properly. You also wanna make sure that you're putting your graphic where you're going to see it when you're drinking your hot chocolate, depending on whether you're left or you're right-handed. My mug also doesn't lay flat for the graphic to stick on it. So I'm removing as much as I can around that graphic. So when I put it on, it's gonna lay flat. Now I needed somewhere pretty to keep our hot chocolate. I found this glass container at the thrift store. It was $1.99 and the top fits really snug. This is gonna look really pretty if you wanna add it to a coffee bar or a hot chocolate bar rather than having just that hot chocolate container sitting out. Added a few marshmallows to the top and you can scoop out a few marshmallows and add them to your mug when you're making your hot chocolate. This was so easy to put together and really affordable with things just from the thrift store and it's a great way to enjoy a cup of hot chocolate on a winter's night. And check out this mug that I found. Isn't it gorgeous? Handmade ceramic mug, 99 cents when I found this. Brought it home, scrubbed it up, made a coffee and enjoyed it by my fireplace. I love pillows to accessorize every holiday, but they are really expensive. So I'm gonna show you how I made a couple pillows with a pair of pajama pants that I found at the thrift store. Now these were a size XXL, so there's a lot of material here for us to work with. I washed them really well, and then I pressed it with my iron, and then I cut the cuff off of each leg. I am not a seamstress, so I'm gonna show you how you can do this without needing a sewing machine and to put these throw pillows together really easy. Now I'm gonna cut the end of the leg where it's not started to taper. And it's really easy with these snowflakes because I can cut right along and have a straight edge. Now I'm gonna take the other leg and cut the second pillow the same size. Now we're going to open up that one end of the fabric and we're gonna fold in and make a crease along the bottom of that. And we're going to get the iron and press it so it lays nice and flat. If you don't have an iron, you can skip this step, but it does make it easier to put it all together if you can have it laying nice and flat. Now you're just gonna take your hot glue gun and you're gonna just glue the bottom of both of those pillows all the way along that crease. And then for the opening that I'm doing here, you're only gonna glue it halfway. That's gonna leave an opening for us to put the stuffing in 
and then we'll finish gluing it after we have it nice and full the rest of that opening. I had an old pillow that was stained and it had a rip in it so I deconstructed it and I'm using the stuffing from that to fill up this pillow. You can also go through the fabric at the thrift store or even pillow cases and if you love the design on it turn them into pillows just using your hot glue gun it is so easy to put together. And the cost is a fraction of the price of what you would pay at a retail store for pillows. And after we've got the pillows all put together, we still had the waistband elastic that I can use on a DIY, the ribbon in the waistband. I cut some into some ribbon to add to DIY projects and three patches of fabric left over. And how cozy are these flannel pillows that I made from a pair of pajama bottoms? It's so easy to put these together with just a little bit of stuffing and a hot glue gun and I've made these pillows that I'm excited to cuddle up with, a hot chocolate and a good book by my fireplace. I found the cutest little hand knit mittens at the thrift store and I have a clothing tag and we're going to pull this all together into some really cute winter decor. So the clothing tag, I always save these because they're really easy to turn into little gift tags or hang tags to hang on your DIY projects and I'm just painting this with some acrylic paint to blend it in and kind of give it a primitive look. Now I've printed off another graphic from my Etsy store. This one is really great for cozy winter decor, winter wonderland. I printed it off on my laser printer on just regular computer paper and I'm coffee staining it. This is just instant coffee, a little bit of warm water. I've taken a paintbrush and I'm just painting it over top of that graphic. And now we're going to attach it to that clothing tag with a little bit of glue from my glue stick. I'm gonna cut it down a little bit so it's a bit more of a manageable size to apply to the tag. I also sped up that coffee stain with a heat gun so it dried quickly. Really great way to do quick DIY coffee stained paper. Now we're just going to attach that tag to that graphic, trying to get it centered the best that we can so it's going to be in the middle of the tag and pressing it down firmly. I'm also gonna use my roller and really press it hard and get it attached really well. And then I'm just gonna use my scissors and trim around the edges. So don't throw out those clothing tags, put them in a little container, save them, and you can make some really beautiful custom tags if you like doing mixed media, junk journaling, or just to add to gifts. And then I'm gonna take my hole punch and I'm just gonna repunch the hole in the top of that tag. So we'll be able to attach this to our mitten project when we're all finished. I want this to have a real primitive feel. So I've got some ink out and I'm just going to go all around the edges of this tag. It gives it that real rustic feel and I love it. Now I'm just gonna roll down the cuff of these handmade mittens and fill them up with some greenery that I had in my backyard. This is really easy to put together. You can always go and look for a sprig at the thrift store or some greenery that you've had for Christmas and take out any of the gold or red accents and give it more of a neutral feel and it will fit your winter decor. Mm -hmm. So next time you're at the thrift store, look for a nice cozy pair of mittens that you can do this DIY with. If you want to add a little bit of winter decor into your home, this is an easy way to do it. Anyone can, and it's just replacing a print in a picture frame from the thrift store. I picked this up for a couple dollars and we're just going to replace the print that's already in it. it. Just came out really easy. It was just taped in the one spot and I've printed off this graphic that I designed. I love the wintry feel of this winter wonderland skate rentals, but I wanted again to give it that primitive feel. I love that look. And you can just print out a graphic and you don't have to do this coffee stain step, but I thought that was how I wanted to present this DIY. 
after I did that, I kind of regretted it and I decided to go in and coffee stain the mat too. And I was not really feeling it. I hope this is gonna pull together okay. But it was kind of a mess with the coffee stain. Sometimes I just, sometimes, you know what, I just try to make things a little bit more difficult than they actually have to be. And I probably didn't need to coffee stain that. It would have looked nice just in the frame, just with the print, but hang tight. You'll see what it looks like in the, in the end. I decided to also paint the frame and give it that black rustic feel. So I just went in with some black chalk paint and painted over the entire frame. And once it was completely dry, I went in with some 80 grit sandpaper and I sanded the whole frame here and there just to give it that rustic primitive feel. Okay, you'll have to go down in the comments and let me know what you think about the coffee stain and whether I overdid it or not. And I could have just left it as is. I think I actually could have just left it as is. I don't mind the coffee stain, but it would have stood out nicer just having that ivory mat and the beautiful graphic. Now I'm going to show you some things that you can look for to add some winter decor to your home that you don't need to upcycle. Look at this beautiful votive holder in the shape of a snowflake and this little wreath but it doesn't have any sprigs of red or gold. It just looks wintry and I think it's going to look beautiful just to put that little votive holder in and display over the winter season. I also like to add doilies into my winter decor. This one was $1.99 and I feel like they kind of look like snowflakes. And this blue crackle glass votive holder is beautiful for the winter season. It was $1.99 and I can put a votive candle in it and it's just going to shimmer on a blustery winter night here at the cabin. Another thing that I love to do is switch out my table runners for scarves. This was a beautiful white scarf and I'm just gonna drape it over my little chest that I have here in the living room, add a wicker tray with some winter decor on it and I think it just makes everything look nice and snugly. I hope you've enjoyed all of today's winter DIYs. Now you can head over to Teresa's channel, the link will be down below in the description and check out all of her winter DIYs that she did today. Day. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.